All new at 530, there has been so much focus on the Virginia race for governor, but you will also be picking a new lieutenant governor in November. Capitol Bureau reporter Evan Armour spoke with both candidates, and tonight we're going to hear from uh, her chat as she sat down with the Democrat Justin Fairfax. The lieutenant governor presides over the Senate and casts tie-breaking votes. That's the responsibility Democrat Justin Fairfax wants. When voters hear Justin Fairfax, I want them to think uh, economic opportunity. Uh, I want them to think, uh, you know, think of uh, them rising. Two things he'd like to see go up, the minimum wage to $15 an hour and more people in higher paying jobs. If we can get people trained and certified uh, to take those jobs, uh, it really changes what's possible uh, for them uh, in their lives to go from making roughly $14,000 a year to thirty dollars or $50,000 a year. One thing he wants to see go down, interest rates on student loans. It's incredibly high and that stifles what young people in particular can do. The former federal prosecutor wants to create a student loan refinancing authority. That'll shave hundreds of dollars a month uh, off of their bill uh, and will allow them to get out of debt much sooner and get on with their lives. Fairfax has been taking his message on the road. Did about 40,000 miles around the Commonwealth of Virginia in the primary. And even more since securing his party's nomination, he says the biggest surprise on the campaign trail is realizing people aren't as divided as it might seem. It really is the American dream that we're all after, uh, and I think that we sometimes have different ways of, of how we try to get there. Evan Armour, 10 on your side.